Hello, I'm Chris and nice to see you again. In this video, I will introduce some new device. It's come from Festo. I am very thanks Festo Japan that ran a set of CPI, uh, CPX API series to me. And uh, in here, you see I'm using a pack of IPC and some Festo module. This one is six, uh, C, C, CPX API, CPX API EC. Something this means a ether cat slave interface and here is the ioling module and the 4d ideal modules and this one is the analog in the mod input module and uh this this fast cpx series is very interesting that why i would like to intro deal is because um you see here is the interface module and here's the cable to connect between the back of ipc and my interface module so it is using is a cat in this case to con to collect and to communicate communicate between our IPC to interface module. But how about this? They don't have uh, some long cable directly connect to inside. But you see, it's a red uh, I'm not red. It's a black cable and a gray cable in here. For black black cable is 24 supply. Make sure that sure you need 24 uh, VDC supply to connect to the also about each module but also this is a great very um cable it is a complication more complication cable this is complication between this more these three modules to maybe to send the data to this interface module or let this interface module send some commands to each um module for example to send to turn this input uh, this output port to on to off or uh, to config this IO link or something. So in this case, because you are use, uh, I'm using EtherCAD in here, so I use the EC type uh, interface module. But maybe for the next time I use both in that or is an IP. Sure that Vesto can give this the option that you need to choose, and you only need to change is the interface module. You can keep all these stuff same and. The part is, is no need to oh because this time I'm using Ethernet IP I need to change this one this one this one also no you only need to change is this interface module and you can just you just need to take this free cable out and then paste the Ethernet IP module in here and then the plug in again and program again finish here all these things is same and you maybe save your life. So my talking is here. So let's go to start our compilations. Okay, so here is the project that I created before. This is a empty project. Just yeah, you know. First thing you because I'm using EtherCAD network in here, so we need to download the ESI file. The ESI file can download from the Vesto homepage. So I will not show in here. I but I will put the link in the the descriptions so we can find the download file there so we can go to io device add new items visa get master to add a new visa get master and then you need to choose the interface uh i forgot this which one so we just click one and double click it go to check uh the adapter tap to check this your interface you are conveying is correct or not so it seems like it's correct, no problem. The next step is we need to insert our Vesto is a cast slave. So how to do this? You can just go to here, you can just scan it, but sometimes you cannot scan all the modules. So the be the best way for you to do is to manually add it one by one. It may spend some time, but it is one hundred percent exact. You can conf can configure what you need, what you need, what you like. Let's go. So, uh, go to select the second master, right click, add new item, and then uh, you can find Festo in AP. In our case, is I'm using the CPX API ECM12. Just select it and press OK. Oh, uh, yes, don't worry, don't forget to. Don't forget to uh to put the yes about from do the C twin cat 3.1 config IO is a cat okay 
And uh, now you see the box one is insert in your project. And now we can insert the each slot. So we you think the slot is a little bit strange, that was same. So here's the slot in here. Slot zero, slot one, slot two, slot three, because the connection communication uh communication cable connection is like this one. From here to here, from here to here, from, from here to here. Not difficult things, okay? So how can we insert the slot? Then we call it them you can click the your CBX A P I E C M twelve and then go to the slots. Then you can configure each slot that is in, installed in your system. It will be a bit uh make you confused, but the first thing you need to insert the EtherCAD module also. So the CX CX CBX A P I E C twelve M twelve and then insert it into your system. Done. And the second one, we are using the IOLink module, so just slow down the fun IOLink master module. And uh, we are using the CPX API series, so it should be used, it should be this type. But which one should I use? I have available, available, available 16 to uh, 4 eggs, so many options. So this number is, means how many IOLink data that you need to rely to exchange between your IOLink master and the IOLink sensor. In this case, I'll just choose four, four is me four bytes, okay? Great, and the next one, I will config the DIDO modules. So I am using CPX API for DIDO M8. So choose this one, and the inside inner system. And finally, I will insert the analog module, just have one type, so just Put it here. Great. So the basic conversion is finished. The next uh, steps and we need to convert the parameters. So how can you convert parameters? There's so many ways. You can use the function box to access the COE to uh, change these parameters. But uh, there's an easy way to then go to the startup tab that you can config which parameter to convert with which values. What value that you need to uh, change it. So go to the start, start tab and press new. The first one we need to convert is the um, IOLink module. So go to the uh, for IOL M12 and choose post mode, uh, post mode, post zero, and then click it and change it to IOL auto start. Then you mean this part will change to our link port. Great. And the second one, we need to convert the analog module. Not same, but same as all type of analog modules. You need to convert the uh, measure range. You need to measure what kind of signal to need to measure. Maybe you need to measure current, voltage, and uh, temperature, or anything. So in that case, I would like to measure the voltage from 0 to 10 V. So that I need to go to 2, 0, 0, 3, and then uh, to enable my signal, my channel 0, just double click it and then change it to 0 to 10 V. Okay, and then we need to convert this scaling value from what is the value of 0 volt and what is the value of 10 volt, uh, 10 V. Just go to the same parameters, to 0 3, and then go to the upper value, we can change it to 4, 3, 2. 0, 0, 0. And then uh, press OK. And then do it again. New to 0, 0, 3. And then point 0. The lower value we can change it to 0. So now the value, the 0 will be 0. 0 V will be 0. And 10 V will be V to 0, 0, 0. OK. So finish. Then the next step we can add our PLC. So go to right click, add PLC, and choose the PLC in here. I add a standard PLC in my project. And then uh, maybe if you see my last tutorial that I will create the repos one by one. In this video, I, do, I will show you a little bit fast way and you save, save your life if your project is very big. Just go to box one, go to PLC tab. 
then check the previous data type. So now a PS data type is created and this PS data type you induce all this module. It's very very convenient. So now what you need to do is just copy it and then uh, create a GVLS and then just define it inside. So here I just choose M1, copy it and done. And I build to compile my project again because you need to link the data. This variable to your process file, you need to compile first. So the last step we need to do is go back to the box one and then link the PLC, choose this module, finish. No need to do anything. And then now you can come add the conversions to download your project to our pack of IPC. Yes. And then uh, great we can download the program also and then just hit play we turn on our camera then you see no error in here now it's flashing it means the combination is okay and no red led in here so combination is done Okay, now next step, finally I'll show you just do some simple programming, then finish it. Just open my here. And I'll just show you some simple program, for example, this our scale, so scaling the value of our analog input. So, so here, scaling, scaling is equal to, uh, because we are receiving the integer from the module, we will change it to the view number first, and then we go GVL doc m1 doc input doc. Yet, for example, you see a channel 10013, zero, zero, it means it is analog channel 10123, one, and input is the port 0123, and the, for the input, the editor input, and port 0123 is the IO link port. And then we are using the channel zero. Okay. It, after we change it to view value, we can um, do it with a fee to zero 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 point zero and then give it here and then multiply ten point zero. Great. Okay. And then uh, I would like to turn on the output. So this here is output is oops output is oh, sorry output is equal to uh gvl dot m1 dot output dot of zero okay so we can just down here again now we see some value is inputting here and we turn the camera again. Yeah, yeah, I have a, a lock simulator that I'm using in every tutorial. And sorry, don't get it too much, okay? And just make it easy, to be easy to see. Now I try to rotate this switch. Then you see the uh, value is in, you can receive the voltage that is back from from the module so now finally i'll turn on the power uh, i'll turn on the output or pause zero oops why oh sorry uh ah uh, sorry i make some mistake here it should be like this that long again and uh turn it on now here is the post zero is changed to orange. It means done. You can see the value is output done. This part is turning on. Then when we turn it off again. Okay, now it's turned off. So it should be okay. Fine, I'll also show you the outing sensor. Is that the data is written or not? Uh, we can just directly go to the input. Using post zero, right? Let's go to post zero and go to the 
okay this one now we see the problem is 255 something maybe i will give you some detail more detailed information in the next tutorial all right but now i'll just show you that some data can be received in here just wait a second i will use turn off my camera again here i put some medic uh something here then you see something change here so some value is in as we see from our own sensor i don't worry i will uh, show you in the future that what is this sensor and how you can config it so this is the end of the video i hope you like this and see you again bye bye